Welcome to this my tutorial on the VES. The VES uh, is the new scanner that's going to replace the VLS. Um, it is quite a complex detector and so I want to go through some of the um, special behavior that you need to be aware of when designing a pipe network for it. So I've already built up a pipe network here um, and now we just hit the auto balance one to do our calculation and straight away you'll see there's something different about this detector and that is that there are separate thresholds per pipe um, all other detectors essentially just have the one set of thresholds for the detector but the VS has separate thresholds um, be aware that those thresholds um, can't vary too much. They actually do, are coupled to each other. Again, uh, to bring those into VSC, you can do an import to import those. Now, you'll notice also um, one of the important things with dealing with scanner is a lot of the properties vary significantly between whether you are in scanning mode or you're not in scanning mode and hence we actually show which mode we're in up here and you can toggle that mode down here um, so we go between scan and non-scan mode um, and when we do um, when we change the mode it recalculates for all detectors the scanning detectors so if I had several VESs underneath the, this project they would all um, change between whatever the mode is that we're working in. Now what you'll notice here is that now we've gone to non-scanning mode all our uh, thresholds are shown as being not um, applicable and um, that's important because essentially the thresholds are per pipe and they only have meaning when you're scanning and you'll notice also if we go to sampling points again all these sensitivity values here are shown as not applicable because if we're not scanning um, then they have no real meaning because the uh, sensitivity is saying what smoke level there has to be to trigger a fire alarm and so they calculate it relative to a threshold and when we're essentially in not scanning mode then none of the pipe thresholds are directly um, being used so we, we have no meaningful uh, sensitivities in that mode and you'll also notice that when I do the opposite when I go to scanning mode I've now got my sensitivities but my transport time says scanning and again transport time is not really relevant um, when you're in scanning mode the transport time is basically saying um, the time that it takes for the detector to trigger an alarm when it's in normal operation but with a scanner um, when smoke's first detected it will cause the detector to start scanning um, and then has to scan through all the different pipes so the scanning t the transport time has no real meaning when we're in actual scanning mode and so we just label it as scanning to indicate that so you need to be aware of, of those distinct differences um, the other thing that happens is that uh, when we're in um, scanning mode essentially the only holes that count at a particular time are the holes on, on the pipe that's being scanned so um, we only essentially group together or care about the holes on a given pipe when we're in non-scanning mode then 
all the holes on all the pipes essentially are being sensed and um, so that the the group uh, or balance the balance targets and the achieved targets here um, have different meanings so when we're in scanning mode essentially what we're saying is how balanced are the holes on each pipe and here we're picking out essentially the, the worst case we're saying is 77 percent um, if we go to non-scanning mode then we're saying over all the we're essentially grouping putting all the holes together and saying what's the ratio between the hole that has the highest flow and the lowest flow regardless of pipes so again, these these values here differ. Now you'll also I'm going to go now to the advanced interface because the groups are actually treated differently between the two. So if I go to scanning mode, you'll see essentially that we've broken up into three separate. Um, We're broken up into three separate groups. The first group is uh, basically affects the holes on the first pipe. The second group has the holes on the second pipe, and the third group are the holes on the third pipe. It's because when we're scanning, um, each pipe is actually being treated, scanned one at a time. Um, so it's only the holes on a given pipe that can aggregate together. But when we go to non-scanning mode, essentially all the holes um, act like the one group. And you can see that actually here. Um, so, um, sorry, going back there again. Um, so they're, they're sort of the main difference that you'll see that the the way that grouping holes is different between them and again you'll notice that where you know, the hole sensitivity is shown as being not applicable here when we're uh, not in scanning mode so there's just some things to be aware of when you're working with the VES let's go back here again um, we'll just go back to the standard interface. So again, in general, I'd recommend you work with standard interface. Um, and we'll go back to the scan mode. And again, you have your thresholds calculated for you. So again, you focus on what the sensitivity objective is, just like any other detector. So um, all the best working with the VES. Um, hope you find it to be a very useful detector.